So here is what you must do to minimize the risk of eye stings from sunscreens. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mo, I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist and safety assessor of personal care product. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare, the science and safety behind it. I try my best to provide you with the best and most up-to-date information regarding the safety of skincare product and ingredients to give you peace of mind while you, you are using your personal care product. So if that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. So today's topic is a bit complicated and there is no one way to deal with it, but I'll try to give you valuable tips to reduce the risk of eye sting. First, let's know what is an eye sting. It's a mild irritation from a foreign body or an ingredient that leads to pain and excess tear production in the eyes, of course. It's a very common issue that people deal with when using sunscreen. Secondly, what causes the eye sting? This is one of the hardest questions out there. It's a multifactorial issue from UV filter for some people like avobenzone or could be like for example fragrance or excipients like thickeners or film formers, polymers or even colorants. Let's look at an example of a solvent used commonly in sunscreen, which is benzoyl alcohol. It's classified as an eye irritant too, according to the ICA European Chemical Agency. Remember, this is a hazard-based classification, which means this can have the potential to cause irritation in the eyes for some people. I mentioned this example to show you how complex this issue is, to know the main offender in this situation. There is a common myth that chemical filters are the reason for most eye stinging. And actually this is not correct, because for a UV filter to be approved and placed in the market, it must show the data that it is not corrosive for tissues, and that includes the eye. That's actually happened with the newest filter Mixor 400 by L'Oreal and BASF. They had to sub do two submissions for approval, because the first one lacked the data regarding the eye irritation, and were not enough to exclude eye irritation from this UV filter. So in the second submission, they provided more data to exclude eye irritation. The second reason is that eye sting can happen in both mineral and chemical sunscreen and that shows that chemical UV filters to blame as the main reason are not the strongest case out there. I did some extra work regarding the older chemical UV filters and did some computer safety assessment and it's called in silico safety assessment. They all showed not to cause eye irritation. I will place the pictures right here. Remember that computer safety assessment and toxicological prediction is not needed when there is an actual experimental data. But I did it uh, just as something extra to make sure that everything is okay and those filter are not to cause eye irritation. Okay, so here is what you must do to minimize the risk of eye stinging from sunscreen. Number one would be to use a mineral sunscreen around the eye if you tried multiple chemical sunscreen and still get the eye sting. Both kind can cause eye sting and the mineral one tend to do that less frequently. Number two would be use a sunscreen stick those sunscreen usually are high higher with the waxy excipients so they stick better to the skin and reduce the risk of formulation migration towards your eyes number three would be to keep the area as dry as possible near the eye because the sweat can break a bit of the sunscreen and carry it to your eyes or can let the rest of solvent to evaporate and reach your eyes and cause irritation. You can keep it dry by lightly patting with a tissue every once in a while or try using setting powder after sunscreen application. Lastly, change your sunscreen until you find something that suits you well. I know this is the oldest tip out there, but it's actually the most effective. Remember, our eyes are different and what can irritate my eyes can literally cause no issue to yours. As a personal tip, I noticed that the newer filter tend to cause the irritation much, much less compared to the older filters. So try to look for a sunscreen with the newer filters. So this was my video guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and find it useful. Always remember to stay safe and see you in the next one. Bye!